My name is Wayne Russell. I work for Wendy Boo Tours and I am representing Wendy Boo Tours from the UK here in Chongqing um, for the last week. And I look after a particular region in the UK which covers all of Scotland and part of England as well. I see. I know that in the past few days actually you are embarking on a trip that is part of the conference, right? And uh, how do you feel about the experience? Could you tell us it, more? It's been absolutely wonderful. It's my first time in Chongqing. Um, you know, so experience something that's completely different to some of the other parts of China has been wonderful. I mean, the Wulong National Park, I mean, literally blew me away. It really was. The fairy mountain reminded me a little bit of Scotland, where I'm from, which is absolutely beautiful to see. Um, and then, you know, the, the Tijling, the Tijling, the, the old town was absolutely wonderful as well. Seeing the, you know, the culture and seeing it all the way back to what it was all those years ago. And it's so well preserved and I think that you know, the people there must be really, you know, proud of the fact that they still live in that way and live in that particular town. It's beautiful. That's awesome to hear this. And it's, it's, as I know, it's the first time here, right? Yes, that's correct. And yes. I, I, I want to know, like, about these spots you are in, or like Chongqing's tourism resources, what are the, you think, the top destinations or attractions that may be interested to your country, ma'am, back for? Yeah, well, I, I think the first thing to say is, is that we have, um, you know, lots of people over the years, thousands of people coming to China from the UK with Wendy Boo Tours. Yeah. Uh, we have a great repeat custom. So the people who are actually have been to, most of the people have been to China have done the main sites, as you would probably yeah. say, like Shanghai and yeah. Beijing and Xi'an. So what we want to do is, is to promote Chongqing to these people who have been with us and traveled with us before and to bring us here. And it's really up to me and the rest of the team to market that and express the beauty of this particular region. And you know, I've learned so much more that I didn't know about, you know, the fact that, um, you know, the UNESCO World Heritage and Culture and, and the beauty. So we will be absolutely 100% making sure that our customers and new customers across the UK get to know about Chongqing. Lovely. And could I hear some of like the uh, plans? Maybe you already have in mind when you're back? Will you start it immediately? No, absolutely. We will start immediately on that. Um, we have 14 delegates from the UK currently with me as well as 17 from Australia. These are uh, industry professionals who work for travel agencies and are business owners. So straight away they'll be going back and promoting and I know already that we, um, we have uh, one of the, the, the clients that's with me um, who's been doing a blog in Chongqing has already had one of his clients contact and saying he wants to go, they want to go here. So, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that we will make sure that we do a huge marketing campaign around the new visa because that is only going to attract much, much more people. Yeah. Because it's difficult sometimes applying for the visa. Our age bracket is 55 plus, so it takes time consuming and it's not so easy for those people to complete the documents. Yeah. So now that we can bring people to Chongqing, easier than it's ever been before. Yeah, because of the pop, like base, new visa policy here, right? Absolutely. The stopover. Right? I mean, we travelled on the new e-visa policy um, and it was so easy. It was so wonderful to get okay. through the whole um, immigration process. It's easier than it's ever been before and that is only going to attract people to the future. That's very nice to hear. I'm yes. so happy to hear that because this is the right timing right policy and there's everything Absolutely. just ahead I think it well, will be. You know, if, if, if someone comes to us and says they want to go to China, we can now give them an option of saying, you know, yeah, maybe you want to see the Great Wall and things like that, but however, what about Chongqing? It's going to be so much easier for you to get there and it's got as many if not more heritage sites than, you know, other parts of China. So but we'll make sure that we promote it as much as possible. That's awesome, that's awesome. Also, can you, just last question is that, can I hear about some of your suggestions? Yeah, like other tourists in, like in Chongqing, yeah, that we can take. I, I think what we just need to do is, is work as closely as we can with the tourist boats here. Um, I think what you're doing is great, you know, you have worked tirelessly with us to, show, to sort out the visa process, which is great. Um, I think that you, it's all, we're all learning. Um, this is maybe not as a popular destination as some of the other areas. So all we can do is communicate, talk, work together and together we can market what's an absolutely beautiful area.